What's going on everybody, C4 here, and welcome to a returning series by your popular demand. I was probably going to wait until, you know, once Madden died off again to bring this back in to things, but I mean, I've always want to find a way to play NCAA. Uh, I'm getting harped left, right, and center to do a NCAA franchise. I don't know, man. I, now the fact that the team builder is down, you can't download teams anymore. I had... You know, no, some, not so, not like I say something that could rival the pandas or rival Alaska, but I, I had once upon a time we did the Calgary Dinos, which is a real team up here in Canada. Uh, I accidentally deleted the file. I, I could look back at doing them. I could look at maybe doing North Dakota State, which was uh, something we did way back in Madden 17. But I had my own creative school. It was all I actually have like a document that had all the information, everything about that. And of course, team builders down. I waited too long, man. And unless the site comes back up, I don't know if I'll do a franchise. But no one else is doing rebuilds, and rebuilds were fun. No one even knew I was doing rebuilds. I did rebuilds last year during like the Madden Dead period, and I posted uh, like on my little YouTube page um, the link to a new UC UCLA rebuild. You got like 8,000 views over the weekend. So I was just like, all right, maybe people want to see these. Maybe maybe this is something that I need to bring back. So we, as voted on by you guys on my Twitter, which you can follow me on Twitter. At Papa XC4, the link is in the, the uh, video description. That's where I usually do polls to vote what team I'm going to do. You guys wanted to see me do the Oregon Ducks. And uh, another reason why I kind of want to stop this because there's no updated rosters. Now we have some nice new rosters here. So as we look at the Oregon Ducks, they have a very, very stacked roster. Uh, you have Justin Herbert, who might be the best quarterback in college football. I believe he is. Now the big question is, is he going to declare this year and maybe go to the New York Giants or go to a team like maybe the Raiders? There seems like there's a lot of uncertainty about Derek Carr's future there. I'm just saying, it looks like all signs are, are pointing for him to return to school, which we may take that liberty. If he declares this year, at the end of this season, first season, first rebuild of the Oregon Ducks, we may need to convince him to come back to school. Uh, the running back spot, we have Tony Brooks James, great speedster, 94 speed, 98 acceleration. Uh, he's unfortunately a senior though, so we won't have them for won't have him for so long. Uh, Dylan Mitchell, one of the better wide receivers in the Pac-12. He's nice. He's the number one target for Mr. Um, Mr. Justin Herbert. Uh, Jacob Breland, another guy, another draftable tight end for the upcoming draft. Offensive line, you have Penny Sewell, who's one of the best true freshmen in college football at that left tackle spot. Uh, we have Shane Lemieux, who's probably going to be a mid-round draft pick next year. Uh, Hanson at center is one of the better centers in college football. Like, they have a really nice offensive line. you got Throckmorton here at uh, at right tackle. Uh, Throckmorton is, you know, again, another guy that, no, there's no perennial first-team all-pro, I don't think, offensive lineman here on the Ducks. Maybe Sewell when he gets to the end of his college career. But all these guys are draftable offensive linemen that should go in the middle rounds of the upcoming NFL draft. And uh, find a spot as depth, maybe, to grow into more the National Football League. Uh, the defensive side, I mean, Oregon's never really been known for his defensive players, but Jalen Jelks is a stud. There's his name. has been tossed around as a potential first-round pick. They are just low-key, just ducking his speed. They were 58. Uh, these aren't my rosters. I just download these rosters. Uh, Scott's not bad at 90. At the linebacking core, you got Troy Dye, who I rate as one of the better linebackers in college football. Justin Hollins is nice as well. In the secondary, you have Thomas Graham and uh, Demardor Lenore. Great name. Uh, but as a sophomore, I'm pretty sure in real life through, what are we at, seven, eight weeks, uh, he's tied for first on the Oregon Ducks in interceptions as a true sophomore. That's pretty impressive. Uh, we have this Amadi guy at safety, 89, and Pickett at song safety. I mean, I don't know a whole lot about the Oregon Ducks. They're not my team, but I do know they have Justin Herbert. I do know they have one of the most explosive offenses in college football. And I do know that even when Chip Kelly was there, he could not win the big one with the Oregon Ducks. So that ultimately is going to be our goal. They've had Heisman Trophy winners before. See, Marcus Mariota, but they've never had a national championship, which is what we are going to do here in today's. All right, so here we are at the end of year number one with that Ducks team that we just previewed, and it was not fire. 7-5, not not quite what we're looking for here. I mean, this team was no real weak. This man, 7-5 is really disappointing, to be completely honest with you. Let's look at what happened. Who did we lose to? I know when I was simming it, because, you know, you got like nine days between simming a whole season here in uh, in NCAA. I, I knew that we were going to – do we just have a team schedule? Is there any way to look at that? There we go. Uh, let's see here. So we lost to Virginia week two. That is not a good loss. We beat Tennessee. We beat Cal. We beat Colorado. We lost to number 13, Washington. That's a tough game. They lost to Washington. Did they? No, they actually beat Washington in real life this year in overtime. I watched that game. 
Uh, they lost to Washington State. That's not a good loss. We beat UCLA. We lost to number five Stanford. We beat Utah. We lost to Arizona. Oh, Khalil Tate probably had one. Let's see, what did Khalil Tate do in that game? Let me see this. Let me see this. Yeah, okay, he went off. Still not good, man. I'm going to be completely honest. I thought for sure this was like a nine-win team, a team that could press for ten wins, including the bowl game. Seven and five for the Ducks. Like this is this is one of those ones. I was like, I'm going to pick Oregon to get the NCAA rebuilds back on track here because it's it's going to be somewhat easy, you know, lean me back into things very, very simply here in NCAA, not having to do a super deeper, hardcore rebuild where I have to draft super, super intensely. And it's not looking good. You make me look like an idiot. Look at our season stats here. Justin Herbert, uh, just we'll run that up to 3,000 passing yards, 27 touchdowns, 8 picks. For a 96 overall quarterback, I would have expected a lot more. 1,200 yards, 11 touchdowns from Tony Brooks James, not bad. We got 66 catches, 1,000 yards, 4 touchdowns for Dylan Mitchell. Oh, my God. Use our tight ends more. An 89 tight end only gets seven balls thrown his way. Not good. Uh, defensively, Austin Faulu. Faulu. No idea, but he, he's a monster, man. Good against the run. 15 tackles for loss. Uh, interception front. Get a couple picks there. Uh, all in all, man, this is definitely a disappointing opening season here for the Oregon Ducks as we try to reach our goal of winning them a national championship. Uh, we'll spend our coach. Uh, we'll spend some uh, eight, you know, XP points here to get uh, Mario Cristobal a better recruiter. He only has two recruiting start recruiting points or whatever the hell for the coach skill tree. We got to do better there. As uh, I don't even think we're gonna get in a bowl game with seven and five. That's ugly. Now, if we do a bowl game, we'll bring it up. But uh, until then, let's just let's just forget this year ever existed. It was a welcome back, a rough welcoming back to NCAA fourteen. And let's go beat the brakes off the rest of the teams in the Pac-12 next year. All right, quick look here at the Heisman race. Bryce Love finally got his Heisman trophy with, we'll round it up to about 1,900 rushing yards, 24 rushing touchdowns, 350 receiving, and another touchdown. Travion Williams was runner-up. A.J. Dillon, Boston College. Miles Gaskett from Washington. J.K. Dobbins. It's just a running backs plethora as our quarterbacks struggled immensely. But, hey, nice to see Bryce Love get that. I think we do have a bowl game. Ooh. No longer undefeated. We are in the Craft Fight Hunger Bowl, taking on number 21 ranked UCF, the unofficial 2017 national champions. That's, that's good. That's as good a game as ever to get things right for next season. There we go, baby. Got ourselves a Fight Hunger Bowl. I'm not adding that to my trophy case. It probably smells like cheese if it's one of my Craft. Well, we beat UCF 35 to 20. Let me get some info here. Let me see what. We see what was happening up in this game. As it was a battle between Justin Herbert and Mackenzie Milton. Herbert went off. 240 passing yards, three touchdowns on the day. Milton, not that hot. Hey, you know, it's, it's something, man. Eight and five could have been a lot worse, I suppose. I, I can't really remember what happened in the first couple of rebuilds that we did last year. Uh, if, 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 if we're, can, you know, perennially we'd start slow or if it was just, this is an anomaly, or maybe Oregon's not as good as we thought they were. But we got a bowl win. We're going to hopefully fight and claw to get Justin Herbert to return for his senior season. He'll be a 99, I can only assume, and after uh, the offseason where they get their little plus. They usually get plus three or plus four from training camp. And uh, we're going to have to you know, have him. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully he works out his back. Hopefully he gets some, some physiotherapy done to his back because he's got to carry this team next year to a national championship. Well, I'd say this is pretty good that Herbert has decided to return. We only have to really worry about Dylan Mitchell, who could declare, could not declare, but we definitely want to bring him back. And uh, it's pretty easy. Anytime you just got to say, hey, get your education. You know they don't really want to leave, but we are losing some nice players. We're losing our starting running back. Uh, Tony Brooks James is starting free safety. Amadi, linebacker, Jalen Jelks, second round. Man, how that, that's actually pretty realistic. I remember last time we did these rebuilds, these projected rounds. We're really off, but I, I do think Jalen Jokes probably going as a second rounder. But uh, definitely our defense looks like they've taken a bigger hit than our offense. But uh, we got the biggest piece returning, Miss Justin Herbert. So let's get into the next season. So as we enter year two of our three-year Oregon Duck rebuild, we just spent some scouting here. Scouting's not that big. Really, the big big part of scouting would be year one. Um but ultimately, our team is looking a lot better. We're currently opening up at number 17, where I think last year we were 24. 
somewhere in that range. So, you know, we're getting a little bit more respect. We got the perfect 99 here. Justin Herbert at quarterback. And we have a nice looking option here in Shao. Uh, show? Show? Let's show? Show? We'll go with Show. How the show sounds a little bit better. Uh, so that means even, you know, even if them things don't work out this year, he should get pretty close to a 90 so our team's not going to be dog shit. Uh, running back, we have CJ Verdell as our starter. Big drop off, though. Uh, we don't really use a fullback. Dylan Mitchell's a 94, able to convince him to return. We got a 92 in Johnny Johnson. Jalen Red is a 90. Uh, tight end, we got Jacob Breeland, 94. One of the best tight ends in college. Offensive line is nice. True sophomore, Sual, 90 overall. Lemieux, 93. 96 center, 87 and 96. This might be the best offensive line in college. And we're going to need it to just play like it. Defensive line is not bad. Jordan Scott is probably the most popular name there with a 96. Linebacking core, we got Troy Dye, the perfect 99, and the other guys. There's some young players trying to make a big-time leap and get noticed. Uh, Thomas Graham Jr. is a 94. We got a 91 for Lenore. The rest of the secondaries, yeah, it's all right. Uh, we got a 91 here in Javon Holland. Redshirt freshman, okay. And strong safety picket, 86. Special teams ain't bad either. So all in all, man, I feel like better team than we had last year, maybe, maybe. But we were seven and five, finished eight and five with a bowl win. I needed, I need, we need to get, we need to get into the championship game here. Something, right? Let's get it. All right, the end of year number two, the last of the glory years of Justin Herbert. Better, but not really where we want to be. Number eight ranked, ten and two. I mean, what happened here? Who we lose that to? I don't even know. They should have Stanford. Uh, oh, we better have lost to Stanford. That's all I know. If we didn't lose to Stanford. And we came second, tied. Garbage. I've always kind of hate that. Uh, I mean, I get the conference record thing, but I still feel like that doesn't always represent the best team. Ah, uh, man. That might have did her. That might have did her. I'm, I'm going to play the bowl game here. You know, you might be like, what is he going to play some gameplay? I'm going to play the bowl game here because I definitely want to play with Justin Herbert before he leaves. Let's see who we lose to. I, I actually kind of hope we lost to Stanford. That'll make it a tougher, an easier pill to swallow. We lost to number five, Utah, 28-23. And we beat Stanford. We beat the brakes off Stanford, 45-21. Who else did we lose to? Arizona? Why does Arizona crush us every time we play them? What did Khalil Tate do? Is he even still there? Poor guy. Damn it, man. He's murking us. Kevin Sumlin and his boys out there doing damage. But we beat Stanford. We know we're the better team. God damn it. Uh, looking at our final season stats here. Justin Herbert coming in number four in total passing yards there. With a grand total of 3,635 touchdowns and six picks. That's a really good year. Around the ball, we got 1,100 yards, 14 touchdowns from Verdell. Habibi Likio, 910. How about get people with more common names, Oregon? Uh, we got uh, 68 catches, 1,100 yards, and 10 touchdowns from Dylan Mitchell. Johnny Johnson, 710. That's not bad. The defensive side. What do we got here? 19. This guy's a monster. I can't even pronounce his name, but he's a tackle for loss monster. Fallu. Austin Fallu. We'll call him that. Sure. Uh, a couple of interceptions there, but all in all, defense. Never really the strength of Oregon. It was, it was always going to be on the arm of Justin Herbert, and unfortunately... Against Utah, against Arizona, couldn't get the job done. So let's find out what bowl game we are playing. We're actually gonna take over that game. Hopefully, whatever momentum we gain from that, and you know, can overcompensate for the loss of the outgoing class and show who's gonna be our new quarterback next year. Hopefully, that inspires him to take this team to the next level and get them that national championship. Look at the Heisman race. I guess the guy that murked us deserves it. Khalil Tate. 53 total touchdowns. Kind of surprised Justin Herbert didn't show up there. But we got Zach Moss. Uh, I have no idea who that running back is from Arizona. Uh, we got Jonathan Taylor, Wisconsin, and Travion Williams. No, I don't I don't know. Travion Williams, Texas A&M. No idea who the South Carolina running back or the Arizona running back are. But, my God, that Arizona team overpowered as shit. So we are going to the Holiday Bowl as the number five ranked 10-2 Oregon Ducks to take on the 7-5. Alan Bowman led Texas Tech Red Raiders. You better believe we're going to let Justin Herbert unleash himself. Make one final little debut, one little showcase before he heads off to hopefully be the number one consensus overall pick, which as we head to year three in the final rebuild, when you get a number one overall pick, 
I'm pretty sure you get like an extra bonus there to your coach XP, which we definitely still need to grow. But that being said, let's hop into this game and just impose our will over the Red Raiders and their non-existent defense. Let's go, Herbert. Oh, you trucked this guy over. Oh, he got massacred. Oh, let's go. Verdell takes it to the house. 38 yards to equalize to respond at Texas Tech's touchdown. As number five ranked Oregon has tied this ball game up. Uh, we're rolling right now. Trying to get some points here before the end of the first half. We definitely want a touchdown. I'd like to maybe showcase Mr. Herbert's talents. So we're going to throw. Oh, we're just going to take off because he's a machine. He's a 6'6", 240-pound version of like a Marcus Mariota damn near. Not a, not a straight line speedy, but in terms of an athlete, man, he's a monster. Look at that. He's the biggest guy on the field and the fact he's like at that Cam Newton complex. Oregon up at half. It's a little weird, but all right. They're, now they're gambling. Herbert's got to throw it. They're like, oh, man, he needs to throw it here. So we're going to give it to Verdell, who takes it in on the C4 special for his second rushing touchdown of the game. Shout out to the O because they're rolling right now. Man, I'm simming out the defense right now just because. Just because. And we have four picks right now. Four picks over whoever's throwing the ball for Texas Tech. Ain't a good look, Chief. As we're scrambling, we're looking for someone that wants to make a play downfield. We're going to lob it to Mitchell. Our premier receiver takes it in. It's the danger zone. And actually, you broke the record. Justin Herbert, congratulations for breaking the record. Even though I, I don't know if Marcus Mariota had better numbers than that. Because Mariota didn't exist when this game came out. Really. Oh, wide open. There you go. There's our receiving touchdown. Jalen Red. 43 yards from Herbert. My God. Show to the defense. So five interceptions on the day. The thing of beauty. And there's Herbert just shattering the record. Again, doesn't really count for Mariota's numbers, but we're taking what we can get here. And there's your final score. It might not have been the national championship we want to win with Justin Herbert, who I'll start to think of this. Like, where would he th where do you rank in terms of like talented Oregon quarterbacks? Like top three? Mariota, Harrington, and him. Or Pennington. Was it Chad Pennington? Chad Penning? No, Chad Penny was Marshall. It was Joey Harrington, I think, was Oregon. He was like a Heisman candidate, but sucks. But we got show. It's going to be our, our all or nothing hope in the final year. We only do three years of an NCAA. I could go to five, but it's because of the sim. Like, basically, when I sim out from preseason to the end of the bowl season, it literally takes like 35 minutes. Don't have that kind of time to do five years plus you know with these more established teams maybe i'd be more inclined to do five years when we take over like a crap team like i don't know troy or something like that but when you have a team like oregon that has established stars you would hope that three years is all you need to turn them around so unfortunately we couldn't do it we had a 99 overall justin herbert now their backs against the walls i think the rest of the team is going to be that much more talented i hope that uh, we can make a run here in year three. But we got, we got two straight bowl game victories. It's not necessarily what we wanted, but I don't think you could say they've been failures. But uh, we can't bring home the national championship in year three. Uh, this, this, this is, has, this, that would probably be an unsuccessful rebuild. So let's hop into year number three. Looking at the players that are leaving, the good news, no juniors are leaving us. The bad news is where I kind of thought we might have a lot of talent. I'm probably gonna be rough third year here. We're losing multiple 90 overalls. We're losing all the good guys on our offensive line, uh, our starting tight end, our best wide receiver, and our 299 players. Uh, it's gonna be painful. We'll just we'll just say right now, this year three gonna be painful. So here we are at year number three, the final year of the rebuild, and I'm actually kind of. Shocked here for a second. Oh my god, my controller died because I'm shocked I dropped it. We're number two. We're opening up as number two. We lose all of that talent, and we're still number number two. Okay, well let's see what this number two team is made of. At the quarterback spot, we're going with Show as our starter. He's up to a 94 overall as a sophomore. Like the the well that's acceleration, man. Six five. They give him 96. Whoever made these rosters, these are the top rosters. These are the best NCAA rosters. I don't know why they always overinflate acceleration on all these players. Maybe there's something with the sim or gameplay or something like that I don't get. But I, whatever. I'll take a 94 for my quarterback. At running back, we have Verdell, who went off in that bowl game against Texas Tech. He's a 91. Uh, Johnny Johnson's a 97. Reed's a 94. We got Daywood Davis, 90. 
Wide receiver, Cam McCormick, 88. Not bad. Suell, 95, 87. You know, the offensive line definitely was going to be a big weakness losing. I think we lost three of our starters, maybe even four of them. But the fact that their average overall is like an 85. It was, no, maybe even higher. We'll say like 86, 86, 87. That's not bad. That can get the job done. Defensively. All right. Well, this Falu guy has been our best player in the sim from a tackles for loss and sack standpoint. So we still have him there. Jordan Scott's a perfect 99. Linebacking core is pretty nice. A high 90s or a high 80s, sorry, low 90s. We got Graham, who's a 98. I think he had three picks in that Texas Tech game. Lenore, 96. Can't even pronounce that dude's name. Halassi. We got a couple of these. That's good secondary, though. Lots of depth. Free safety. Uh, Javon Holland, 97. Strong safety. We have two 90s here in Brady Breeze, who used to play, I think he was a two way player. Played a little wide receiver, played a little DB. And uh, we have Nick Pickett here. Not bad, man. Solid special teams, minus the punter. True freshman, Reese Howe. But uh, we're number two ranked. Let's hold on to that. Hope to God we can beat Arizona. They're the only team that's beat us both times, and they built, they put up like 45. Let's hope that Khalil Tate declared, and we have a chance this year. Let's find out where we are. I, I just want a Pac-12 championship. I just want an opportunity to play in the Natty. All right, here we are. This is what we wanted. Pac-12 championship, 10-2, and 10-2. and two. Number four, Oregon Ducks going up against number two, USC. We're going to play this game because we win this game. We're going to the national championship. Looking at our season stats show. First year as a starter, good God. 3,500 passing yards, 33 touchdowns to three picks. It's even better than Herbert. Uh, running attack, Verdell was pretty good. 13 touchdowns. No real dominant wide receiver. Red, nine TDs, 800 yards. Defensive side, um, Bryson Young, 23 tackles for loss. Eight and a half sacks. That's huge. Defensively, we got four picks from DJ Johnson, three from Holland. Good team, man. Weld around top to bottom. We got the job done. So let's hop into this Pac-12 game. See what we can do. Oh, that's the game. Already knows what we need to run. Opening drive for the Oregon Ducks. We're on the one-yard line. Show's been just lethal. We're going to go to Verdell, who balled out for us against Texas Tech. Oh, uh, yeah, baby. We can almost taste. We can almost taste that national championship right now. Boom, oh, touchdown, baby. Johnny Johnson, the third. Oregon up 14 none. All right, we're going to sim this one out. I feel like I feel like we got the job done here. Oh, no, maybe not. Let's go. I feel, I'm feel i putting confidence. I'm putting confidence. Looks like the word of this game will be taking on Alabama in the national championship game. We got another touchdown, 31-7. to seven. You know who the premier team is here in the Pac-12. And they have... 48 different types of jersey, and that is the Oregon Ducks. As the Simpines, see, it seems pretty fair here. It seems pretty fair as Oregon, with show as their quarterback, not Justin Herbert, win the Pac-12, and will be going on, unless there's some sort of just worst robbery in sports history, to take on Alabama at number one for the national championship game. All right, so we got the Heisman Trophy winner. It went to a Hawaii running back that I have never heard of. Freddie Hawley III. DeAndre Swift, J.K. Dobbins, Cam Akers, Brian Robinson Jr. All know those guys. But congrats to Freddie Hawley III for getting, I mean, 32, 31 rushing touchdowns. Is pretty crazy. So we're going to the national championship game. I was terrified because when I simmed that, it had the little picture of the Tostitos Bowl. I was like, are you kidding me? We're gonna go. We're gonna beat number. We're gonna be number four. Beat number two and number three or something like that gets to move up one spot. Thank God there's justice in the world, and we are going to bring the pain to Alabama here for our national championship, the first in the history of the Oregon Ducks franchise, college, university. It's pretty much a franchise. But hey, let's win this one for Nike. It's the national championship. It's Tyler's show going up against Tua Tagovailoa, as you see him right there. Thick boy, number 13. We won the toss. We're going to put our defense out there. That Graham guy, don't even know where he ranks as a college prospect. Probably been the best defensive back I've seen so far here in NCAA. He got like five picks a game every time we take over with him, even though you know his regular season stats didn't show that. But we're going to get the ball. Second half, let's go. All right, we got them on their heels right now. Tua 2, 49 yards. Both passes in some way, shape, or form are gimmicky to like a running back or whatever. Let's go. Oh, right there. A's wide open. We hit McCormick. 
the tight end with the goddamn Troy Palomalo haircut gets in. Show breaks the school record for single season touchdowns. I think it's 36. He's an animal. Bama. Oh, this could be even sweeter. Could have been. Usually it seemed like it was always Washington or something like that. Something stupid. Like double pack 12 teams when you went to the. Didn't even make sense. At least Alabama, you get that satisfaction of beating Bama. Oh, no. Did not need that, though. Throwing you across your body. Oh, no. You're not going to pick six. Pick six. All right. Beautiful. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Fuck. It's defensive battle, man. Defense. What are, you, what are you expecting? Taking on Alabama. That wasn't going to be. So we're going to try to hit the 59-yarder with no wind. I have no idea what the leg of our kicker's like. Come on, baby. Come on. Good luck. Perfect for 59 yards. It's good. Insert Merrill Reese quote. It's good. Oregon's going to take the lead into the half, and we get the ball to open up the second half. What a kick. You know, his range is 62 probably. Oh, there we go. There we go. Pound the rock. That's where our advantage was. We're not going to throw it on Patrick Certain in a really good Alabama secondary. We had to run it. Vidal, who went off against Texas Tech, going off again, carrying the load after a just 0-0 third quarter. Oregon get a very, very important touchdown. All right, after just trying to bleed the clock out as much as possible, we are forced with a third and 17, a.k.a. Alabama blew up all of our run plays so far. So this is the play. Oh, right there. Wide open A. And almost picked off by Josh Job. Not a good throw. Probably should have been intercepted. Alabama have a chance. Comes Alabama with the ball. And they go. Jerry Judy touchdown. We have two seconds left. How fucking fitting. Oh, Verts got one play. Maybe Oregon's just cursed to never win a national championship. We got one play, though, against Alabama. Oh, my God. He's running for his life. Yeah, we're fucked. All right, well, that's how we get back into the NCAA rebuilds. Have it so where we've relied on the defense to play the sim. Just, just I feel like that's fair because there's no real other gameplay element to it. Um, and they scored instant touchdown with two. Well, not instant touchdown, but they scored clearly. We all felt they were getting a touchdown there. And then we got two seconds left. So corny, cheesy, whatever you want to say. At least we were competitive with Oregon. I never thought it would have been the competitive team with not Justin Herbert at quarterback, but uh, fun rebuild nonetheless. So as always, guys, if you guys enjoy this, this is the first ba first time back in the series. I'll, I'll judge if these are going to continue based upon the likes, based upon the views. So smash the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment in the comment section below about what team you want to see me rebuild next year in NCAA 14. And until next time, it's C4 saying peace out. F word Alabama. Boo! Boo, you suck! Yeah. Money I'm spending, I'm out and I'm shopping. You talking that shit when you talking and talking. Look at my options, look at me dropping. Ass in the game, like who are you stopping? Not me, not me, I never. Not me, not me, I never. Not me, not me, I never. I'm way too clever. Look at the kid, Mr. Consistent, I'm doing it big Way too persistent on taking your bitch Here comes a monster to scare all your kids Y'all scared, y'all scared, what you running from?